Hello friends, welcome to the 19th part of the topic connections in a steel structure where today we are going to talk about the block shear failure in a, any particular type of joint. So at first we will understand what is block. Block actually means where from the figure itself we can understand an entire block uh, of the plate has been removed or failed. See if we take example of this figure then we can see that this entire block has been broken and uh, removed from the joint. And so it is known as block shear failure. The entire block, any of the any part of the plate breaks like a in form of a block. Similarly, if we take this example, then this entire block has been uh, broken and removed from the plate due to overloading or uh, due to the exceeding the capacity of the plate. See here the bolt is not failing while the plate is failing. Here in this case, what could we do is we can just increase this edge distance or end distance. And so we are having uh, the criteria to set edge and end distances as uh, we saw in my uh, recent lectures. These are a uh, few other examples of block shear failure where this block has been broken like this and uh, removed. Here it is seen. In this figure it is seen that this block has been broken like this and removed like this due to overloading. Again this plate is been broken by like this and removed from here so from the figure itself we can understand what is a block shear failure it can be bolted or welded see here for welding also it can help block shear failure it is seen in some research work in usa that the angles gusset plate and the cop beam connections may fail due to block shear these are the examples of uh, block shear which can have uh, block shear failure. Failure occurs in the shear at the row of both holes parallel to the applied loads ac accompanied by the tensile rupture along the plane perpendicular to the direction of the load. This type of failure results in the block of the material being torn out by the applied shear force. This is due to the application of the shear force and the entire block has been torn out. The block shear failure in Bolted or welded connection is characterized by a condition where a block of a material in the pattern surrounding the, the bolted region reaches its capacity through the combination of tension and shear. See, in this paragraph, the most important thing is combination of tension and shear. This block shear failure occurs due to the combination of these two forces. As a result, a block material is displaced from the connection. Block shear failure is usually initiated by tension fracture. It, is, it might have a tension fracture as seen in the figures. Now how can we calculate this? The value of the block shear can be calculated by uh, using this uh, smaller of the two formula which means uh, the smaller of the two value which I get from this formula. TBD1 will be equal to AVG into FI upon under root 3 into gamma M0 plus 0 0.9 into ATN into FU upon gamma M1 and uh, say similarly db2 will be equal to 0 0.9 into avn into fu upon under root 3 into gamma m1 plus atg into fy upon gamma m0 it is given in is 800 clause 6.4 page 33 so we don't have to remember for the exam point of view where the abbreviations are as follows avg avn atg atn see you will understand this abbreviations better from this figure FU is ultimate material stress as always and FI is the material yield stress. The area of the cross section parallel to the line of bolt holes. So this particular line is called AVG. While the line which goes through the bolt holes, this line is known as AVN, area of this plane. And the distance between the bolt hole is known as pitch as we already know. This is the angle section. Now talking about ATN. So how can we identify whether the particular area, cross sectional area is AVG or ATG. So this basically depends on the line of action. If this is the line of action, then the distance parallel to the cross sectional area parallel to the line of action, it is AVG or AVN and uh, perpendicular is ATG and ATN. And the length of the first and the last bolt of the connection center to center is known as length of connection LC. This is the end distance, edge distance, 
E1 and this is the gauge distance from center of the bolt hole to the end of the angle. So friends this was all about the block shear failure. Thank you for watching and wait for the 20th part of the topic connections.